Hey guys, I wanted to do a really quick video on this Nikon Z30. And um, I've been watching people online, a lot of videos, uh, people, especially a lot, a lot of the pros that were talking about it and saying, oh, it's a great vlogging camera, except, or it's a good camera, except for this, or it could be a great camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm, my arm was getting tired. So here's the deal. They're expecting this to pull double duty, right? It's a vlogging camera, and they're saying, well, you can't use it for this. You can't use it for that. Well, no, okay. This thing, I think, was released as a vlogging camera. It's for doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to address four issues that people were having with it and uh, the reasons why I think those are all, uh, I think, ridiculous uh, qualms or, or problems that they had with it okay so this is real quick so I'm gonna go over number one the real problem that people have is they say it doesn't have an electronic viewfinder well okay here's the deal it's a vlogging camera right right now I wouldn't be looking through a viewfinder right so I'm not gonna take this camera I'm not gonna shoot you know uh, a friend's wedding or something like that with it I'm not gonna do landscape photography I'm not gonna go shoot birds with this thing I don't need an electronic viewfinder because vlogging means just that I turn the camera around and I shoot me talking so why does it need to have an electronic viewfinder I just don't get that so uh, that number one that's that's debunked uh, number two is they say that it doesn't have a headphone jack. Okay, headphone jacks are for people who want to monitor the audio while they're shooting someone else, right? So if I was to use this camera shooting other people doing things, I would monitor the audio. But that's not what it's for. A vlogging camera is a is a one band a one band show, right? So I would not have the audio in my ear where you guys could see me listening to the audio while I'm vlogging. That's not what it's for. So that one is debunked. Uh, number three, they say that the audio levels don't show on the screen when the uh, screen is tipped out. Uh, here's the deal. Actually, that one is easy to fix. If you go into the settings and you turn off self-portrait mode, all of those things show on the screen. So the audio levels do show the self-portrait mode is turned on by default. So number three, debunked. And the last one is, believe it or not, this is really ridiculous. <laughs> I heard one guy, he's supposed to be a pro. He said, well, the funny thing about it is, is that the camera, the grip on it is the normal grip. It's not, it should be turned around so that when you're holding it, uh, vlogging yourself, you, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, here's the funny thing, is that nobody that I know that, that, that vlogs holds the camera like this and vlogs themselves, right? They don't hold it from the side because it tips up and down. The weight of the camera just, it's not made for that. You always put it on like a, a monopod or a, a gorilla pod or something like that and hold it from the bottom. That way it doesn't tip. So I don't know why he was talking about the grip being backwards, but sure enough, uh, that's what he said. So anyways, those four things that I wanted to um, address about this camera. In my opinion, this is an excellent vlogging camera. I think uh, I think Nikon hit it out of the park with this little camera. It's a, it's it's great. I, I love it. it's got a, a for its size. It's got a pretty good size sensor, the APS-C, and uh, so far for me for the last well since last summer it's been working wonderfully. So I think all those problems that people have with this camera, they're expecting it to pull double duty, and they want to go shoot weddings and they want to do all these other things with it. It's not what it's made for. It's a vlogging camera. In my opinion, I think Nikon did a great job. So there it is. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later.